What's good, y'all? CC Scraps, Monday morning, 6 a.m. I'm gonna jump on the wave and get picking. That's what's up, y'all. Take the walkie going. What? Yeah, buddy. Stay safe. Peace. Oops. What's up, y'all? CC Scraps, welcome. So, I was talking about that pegboard. I just wanted to do a quick shop. Uh, update on the shop tour and what I got going on so we'll start over here I'm working out of a one car garage kind of like this I'll show you all for all of you who are new to the channel if any it's a garage like that and then I get the other see what I'm saying that's some for somebody else this is for it's hard to see with the light there we go one and then I get the other side so anyway here we go, we'll roll in here. This is something I found, a random, it's like a back for your hitch to put like a bicycle on or groceries or it's a little back shelf for your Jeep or truck with a Reese hitch hookup. Uh, this shelf, I found this shelf uh, at a clean out and I just put random stuff on it, my batteries. I got my seven inch angle grinder, my two circular saws up there, a beat up Harbor Freight grinder, all some little random stuff. Uh, nuts and bolts things like that copper to bust through uh transformers i'll stick on this shelf another cordless saw from harbor freight i found just random stuff so right here would be my granddaddy's toolbox gave me that and there's stuff all sorts of stuff in here i go through it and get more things out as i go along as i need them uh found this drawer set up got some number one wire or number two insulated copper wire, but I'll show you all that in a little bit. Uh, oops. Um, this is just like a little shelf slash workstation for like lighter stuff. I'll bust out like little tinier things, a little bench grinder. Uh, power. I have power, but I have to run it through a cord outside of the house onto a plug because there's no power in here, but it does the job. I got three Braun lights from Harbor Freight. Uh, they light it up pretty good. Hey, I think they're 800 lumens a piece. Lumens. Uh, that's my just you know random tools up here on a shelf. Uh, my main workbench over here. I got some other workbench in the mix from work. I think they may give me one. And you're gonna see where that's gonna go in a second. I built this whole workbench myself. Uh, some of it's repurposed wood. Some of it isn't. I wanted to repurpose it all. But by the time I found the things I needed and got through it, I would have been still trying to build a workbench. Uh, I got all my heavy-duty cutters up there. Don't forget Rosie the Riveter. I love Rosie the Riveter, y'all. Uh, let's see. Then I got, you know, this is another shelf I found, you know, for random tools. It's hard to see with the sun. Maybe that's better. There we go. It's just another little area. Over here is just all my empty totes. Hey, baby. What do you think of my tote collection? Think I need a few more? I think I got a bunch. These are my random totes. You love my random totes, right? Yeah. Not really. Why not? Because you never use them. I do use them. I know. Uh, maybe you're right. There's like a hundred of them. No, there's really not, but there's... I mean, there's a fair amount. <laughs> Give me that, baby. Um, so anyway, this is my new thing I did. If you notice my videos from before, that toolbox right here used to be over here. So I cleared out a little room. I'm going to get some casters from Harbor Freight, six of them for that big pallet so I can set some heavy totes on and wheel it around. I moved my Black & Decker step bench vise. Eventually that's going to get hung up. That stays the same over there, but this is what I was talking about, y'all. The big pieces of pegboard. I got all most of my power tools on the wall so I'm not moving them around and you know when I gotta grab one I mean I got a crap ton of screw guns I got one more in the house I gotta bring down one in my truck one upstairs then I got that Black & Decker that Harbor Freight that Bostitch and my Bauer seven screw guns I got y'all seven and then oh yeah the one I gotta bring down wow, 120 new cases today of what? Oh, coronavirus. Let's do that update. Come here, baby. Okay. Let's go the other way. Since we got all the cases, here we go. Let them see you, because you're you're a silhouette the other way. So there's 120 new 
pieces in our city. And there we go. We were just put on a yellow restriction from the governor of New York. What's that yellow restriction? Um, Mario, or, uh, or, uh, what's the governor's first name? Cuomo's first name. It's not Chris, it's Andy. Andrew, Andrew Cuomo. And yeah. so, Mario Cuomo's son, which was a damn good mayor. Or governor, sorry. Okay. And, uh, so, I heard, bars, or saw. bars, restaurants, everything has closed at midnight. Um, school has to test 20% of their, uh, students. And, um, there is only 25 max gatherings anywhere, um, in wow. any area of the yellow restricted areas, which includes us. Okay. Yeah. So... Since I'm an essential worker, I don't have any restrictions. Well, I do, I guess, but I don't really go out to bars like that no more. So, yeah. I'm going to just keep doing... You know, I'm not going to lie. Since this coronavirus has hit, my life really hasn't changed much. Like, i got to wear a mask where I go at work, everything like that, a little bit. But it's pretty much been, you know, I don't know. It's weird. I'm just shocked that I haven't caught it yet. Being as how I'm out in the, being as how I work around, you know, 70 guys a day and girls a day. And then we're getting our auto parts a lot from China. Because I see little Chinese symbols on the, on chalk on the bins that go up in the air. Like that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we wear our masks, we disinfect stuff, things like that. But, you know, you can only be so... I mean, you know, you you can be careful as much as you want. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Or maybe I'm immune to it. Who knows? I have no clue. Anyway, back to the shop tour. So, yeah, there's that. I may move this up a little. I don't know to level it off in case I do another bench. Because I want to have a workbench here that my job may give me. And then I can have, I got these other little pieces of pegboard here that I can stick there to have like a backing, you know what I mean? Kind of like this, but pegboard. But yeah, oh, one more thing. Um, just That's just random stuff and little bits of things down there. My cutting tool stuff, my accessories. Now this is my e-waste collection, y'all. Some of y'all are gonna like, baby, do you wanna film the e-waste collection for me? And I'll talk, that would be cool. So I got, Random circuit boards with stuff on them. I don't know whether I should pull these off. Some say do, some say don't. I've got a ton of C or uh, RAM sticks. A uh, bunch of CPUs. What? Uh, but I don't know how to categorize it. Uh, power packs. I got I, 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 lots of circuit boards. I mean, tons of them. Uh, random more power packs, disk drives. Uh, all sorts of hard drives down in these little boxes down in here. Um, I don't know what's, oh, those are just empty tackle boxes. Little stuff. And I got a whole bin going to e-waste up here, too. But yeah, I mean, that, that's it. That's, whoops, that's the e-waste collection. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this number one wire, or number two wire, once I get this bench going, I got this little thing. I've used this once before, just not on camera. But, or a couple times before, I have one of these wire strippers. You can either crank it, or you can hook your drill to it. I like hooking my drill to it because I'm 49 and I'm not cranking nothing unless I have to. So, but I do suggest you have a corded drill, the one I had burnt out. So, I suggest you have a corded drill for it because it does eat batteries. But you can adjust it up and down. There's the little blade under there. You've seen these on YouTube. But I picked this was $60, I think, or $40. How much was it, baby? 60. 60 with all it's said and done. And it got here pretty quick. But anyway, that, that's the shop tour. That's it, and there's more e-waste there. Um, but yeah, that's how it's going, and that's the update. This would be the 10-minute update, right? And I see this 40 question challenge going on. What is that all about, y'all? Do you just pick questions? Do you get nominated like the ice bucket challenge? I don't know. What is it? Can someone leave? You know what to do. 
All right, y'all, stay safe. Wash your hands, wear your mask. CC Scrap Shaw. Peace. Say goodbye, baby. Bye.